Sri Guru Bhionama. Morning viewers, in this video, we are going to see about the upcoming Ravo Kedu transit, which is going to take place on October 30th around 4.45 pm. Where Ravo moves from Aries to Pisces and Ketu moves from Libra to Virgo. We will be seeing the effect of Ravo Kedu transit on each zodiac in a separate video. If you are new to my channel, keep this channel subscribed so that you will get my updates instantly. It may be an easy task for you. It can give a lot of motivation and enthusiasm in us to release such videos. Rahu so far placed in the house of Aries is going to move to the house of Jupiter which is Pisces. Same way Ketu from Libra is going to move to the house of Mercury which is Virgo. So the upcoming Rahu Ketu transit mainly the transit of Rahu seems to be highly positive because it moves to the house of Jupiter and Jupiter is a very positive planet and we can expect positive predictions to almost all the zodiac at the same time Ketu represents the knowledge same way Mercury also represents the practical knowledge as Jupiter on a contrary is a traditional knowledge where we learn through a school teacher right from beginning to elementary school to the postgraduate level. It is a unique type of learning Jupiter will impact upon but Mercury is a planet which imparts knowledge out of our experience. It depends upon person to person the situation the person takes so he learns lot of things out of his own. This is what Mercury will do. If Ketu is associated with the house of Mercury and Ketu symbolizes the knowledge, so we can say there will be abundance knowledge in the upcoming one and a half years for those who are studying in schools and colleges and those who are working in different sectors. They can earn a lot of knowledge. There will be a good shift in their lives. Generally for Rahu and Ketu, they don't have any own houses like other planets. So wherever they get associated, they behave like that house owner. For instance, if Rahu moves to Pisces, it will behave like Jupiter and uh, Ketu, when it gets associated with the house of Mercury, it behaves like Mercury. So it is as equal as saying Jupiter is a ruler at his own house and uh, Mercury is a ruler at his own house. This is the way we need to see at this Rahu Ketu transit. In the upcoming Rahu Ketu transit, when we see the planetary positions, on October 30, 2023, around 4.45 pm, you have Rahu placed at uh, Pisces. And uh, fortunately, the ascendant is also Pisces. And the second house, Aries, Jupiter is alone now. So far, Jupiter getting conjected with Rahu had lost its individuality. But now, Jupiter will exhibit its own power. And if you have the moon at the Taurus, the Kritika star. And Venus is placed at the Leo. And Ketu is at Virgo. And you have a conjunction of planets, Sun, Mercury and Mars at Libra. Saturn as usual is a ruler at his own house Aquarius and you have the star Kritika on that day. So now based on the planetary positions and based on the present position of Saturn and uh, Jupiter and the upcoming Jupiter transit, we will see for the next one and a half years the impact of Rahu Ketu on different zodiac. Generally for Rahu and Ketu it moves in the anticlockwise direction and it stays in a particular house for almost one and a half years. So next to Saturn, Rahu Ketu takes the maximum time period of stay in a particular zodiac for almost one and a half years. So it's going to be a great impact upon each and every individual. But at the same time one has to note that the personal horoscope will take its higher priority. It gives up to 80 percent results from the personal horoscope. The present position of planets, the impact of the Rahu Kedu transit, it will have only an impact up to 20 to 25 percent on an individual. So one need not have to worry about positive or the negative results of the impact. Majority comes from the personal horoscope only. Capricorn, the 11th zodiac sign. For Capricorn, Rahu from 4th house moves to the 3rd house and Ketu from 10th house moves to the 9th house. Comparing to Ketu, the placement of Rahu seems to be favorable for Capricorn. In the upcoming Rahu Ketu transit, when we see the Rahu's movement, Rahu at 3rd house can fetch a lot of positivity. Their creativity can give them a lot of credit. Those who are artists, painters, designers, they all get good fortunes during that period. So far, Rahu placed at the 4th house might have given certain problems in terms of mother's health, asset purchases and problems in the land and on how they stay. All such problems will come to an end the moment Rahu moves away from 4th house to 3rd house. There will be good support from the younger sisters and brothers. Some may travel foreign countries. Some may go to foreign countries for business or for job. Children might go to a foreign country for better studies. Those who are studying up to 
10th and 12th standard they will have better concentration during this period and they can able to manage the studies and score well in the school investments in share market financial segments can fetch good positivity during the period they could be brave and uh, face any challenges courageously during this time in the third house rahu will move initially in the nakshatra or the star of mercury mercury is a friendly planet to saturn and uh, mercury happens to be the 6th and 9th house lord so they could win out their enemies and even they can take the share of the competitors any health related problems can come to an end during this period they'll get good medicines and support from the doctors even they could get loan from the bank if they had lended money to any outsiders they can get back the money in time so these are the positivity some may get assets from the father side there will be good support during this period from the father side family some may even join business with father or the elder brothers during this period business in terms of textile cement sand and stone they, it will all give positive results for them some may even do business in terms of pharma companies and some may produce medicines and sell medicines some may even do business in terms of creating arms and ammunition to the countries so the business will improve a lot during the period some may do the jewelry business some may do the imitations jewels they will also find some reasonable profit profits during the period next rahu moves on the nakshatra of saturn and saturn happens to be the lord of capricorn and it is also responsible for the second house so there will be positivity during that time they will have more strength self confidence and courage and they will face any challenges during that time they could win any type of challenges through their communication so those who are working with communication as a base can find the time more suitable and favorable for them and saturn is very strong at the second house so they can able to control the mass public those who are in politics can able to attract mass crowd by the speech even union leaders in the companies get more followers during the time when rahu moves on the nakshatra or the star of jupiter there will be some positive expenses say for instance purchase of land purchase of assets even for marriages there could be expenses during the time some may get marriage alliances during the period and get settled even the disputes between the married couples the disputes will come to an end and they'll get reunited those who are doing partnership business they find the period more favorable for them some may get friends some may even identify their childhood friends during the period some may get child birth in case if they are looking for it so their time seems to be favorable and the stars at rahu moon also looks favorable for capricorn now let us see the impact of ketu at the 9th house for capricorn ketu from 10th house moves to the 9th house looks favorable as it moves to the house of mercury and mercury being a friendly planet to saturn so for capricorn when ketu is placed at the 9th house they will be more spiritually inclined some may show interest in spiritual activities they start following the ancestors principles and practices and try to implement it they have strong faith in religion spirituality and the existence of god and all so they show interest in listening to spiritual music spiritual notes study spiritual books some may visit temples and uh, other holy places some may plan a short pilgrimage tour some may do donations charity to poor some may even give donations to the temple renovations kumbhavishekams and all so the placement of ketu is really good for uh, capricorn some may get good support from the father and father side family even some may get their ancestors property some may even get unexpected luck as 9th house also indicated unexpected luck in uh, virgo ketu initially will travel in the nakshatra or the star of mars and mars happens to be its 4th and 11th house lord so during that period some of the investments can turn out to be profitable so they are invested in gold they are invested in uh, other precious stones or any mutual funds during that period they get some good profit fds will get matured during that time so it will be very useful for them in fourth house jupiter will be placed so some may even buy gold during that time business will do good during this period especially for ketu's point some may do coffee and tea related cultivation some may show interest in vegetables and uh, fruits cultivation so they will get some good profit even the middleman between the farmers and the wholesalers they find some good profits during that period some may get good business in the construction field some may show interest in the traditional medicines like ayurveda siddha homeo and all doctors in these areas will find large volume of patients coming so it looks favorable next ketu will move on the nakshatra or the star of moon and moon happens to be the 7th house lord during that period based on the strength of the individual chart some may get married the controversies between the married couple will come down they will have a amicable and peaceful solution the relationship will be more positive during that time some may get friends there will be support from the friends some may get friends from other states or other country so through them they will get some help those who are unmarried for long can get married alliances during that period so these are some of the positivity when ketu travels on the nakshatra or the star of moon next when ketu travels on the nakshatra 
or the star of sun and sun happens to be the eighth of the lord there will be unexpected luck some may shine better through social media and uh, facebook twitter and other instagram by posting their articles those who are in the catering business and uh, fashion designing and textiles through social media they can grow up their channels and they get good credits from the public business in this time will take its maximum growth some may find huge profit also some may get support from the government based on the individuals chart some may even join in government organization even some may join in politics and uh, support the party may get seats in the election so these are some of the positivity when ketu moves on the nakshatras of sun so for capricorn in the upcoming rahu ketu transit the position of rahu seems to be better compared to ketu and also the nakshatras or the stars rahu is traveling like rahu will travel like the star of mercury star of saturn will all look favorable only during the time when rahu travels on the star of jupiter there will be some expenses similarly the placement of ketu at 9th house seems to be really favorable for them and all the stars to an extent seems to be good except when ketu travels on the star of sun there will be some tensions and uh, emotional disturbances so considering all the planetary positions in the upcoming rahu ketu transit there could be a positivity up to 85% for capricorn